Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, we will be taking a look at hopefully fixing all those crashes, dev errors, connection issues, anything like that in the new Call of Duty Cold War. As the title says, this is the ultimate Call of Duty Cold War fix tutorial. I have got about 13 methods in this video which one of them will hopefully fix the issue you are having. So please be patient and just try every method that I do show in this video and once you do come across a method that fixes your issue then comment below and let everyone below know what issue you were having and which method fixed it. Anyway because we've got so many methods to go through let's get this started and the first thing you want to do if you are having overheating issues is make sure the inside of your PC is completely dust free. Obviously don't do this if you're not confident enough of taking the computer case apart because obviously a lot of those hardware components are quite expensive and you don't want to damage them. So anyway take that side panel off your PC case and give it a little spray in there with a air duster or something like that but just be very careful. Obviously I can't take any responsibility if you do damage your PC. So just be very careful but if there is a build up of dust or anything like that inside your PC case then this could cause your PC to overheat or your graphics card which could then make your PC shut down. Down, as it will do this to protect your hardware. Also it will reduce the performance of the game as the hardware will limit itself to protect itself. The second thing we want to do is ensure we have the latest Windows 10 updates installed and that does include having the latest feature update installed. To check for Windows 10 updates if you don't already know all you need to do is open up your start menu, type in update, click on check for updates and then give it a second then click on check for updates it will now check for any Windows 10 updates if there are any available you can then go ahead and press install if you have a feature update available then it will be in this section here go ahead and install all the updates and the feature update if you have one available currently it's the 20H2 update these can help fix a lot of problems when it comes to playing Call of Duty Cold War but just make sure you back up any important files before doing any of the updates just in case anything was to go wrong. The third thing we want to do is make sure we have the latest video card drivers installed on our PCs. Head on over to the manufacturer of your graphics card site like Nvidia for example here's Nvidia's site find your graphics card search and then install the latest driver. If you have an AMD then this is what the AMD website looks like. Same again just find your graphics card and then download the latest driver. It may also be worth just installing the driver as well even if you do have that graphics card driver just because it'll give it a nice reinstall in case any of those driver files have been corrupted and that could also be causing you graphics issues in game or just simply making the game crash. The fourth thing we want to do is make sure we give our computer a good disk cleanup. Disk Cleanup is a program that's built into Windows 10 that basically cleans up any of the temporary old files that we no longer need or use. To do this all you need to do is open up the start menu and type in disk and then click on disk cleanup. You then need to select your C drive or whichever drive you have Windows installed on. You will now have a window that looks like this. You want to go ahead and click on clean up system files and then press your C drive or whatever drive you have Windows on again and then it will scan. Once it's finished scanning we will then have a few options to choose from. As you can see I have Windows Update Cleanup. Only select this option if you are happy with the latest version of Windows that you have. Otherwise you will not be able to roll back Windows. So I don't actually recommend selecting this option. But the options we do want to select are DirectX Shader Cache, Delivery Optimization Files and if we scroll down a bit more we want to select Temporary Files. Once you are happy with the options you have selected, 
go ahead and press OK. Obviously, the more options you select, the better. Once the disk cleanup has finished, go ahead and launch Call of Duty again and see if it has now fixed the issue you were having. If it hasn't fixed the problem that you're having, then the next thing we want to do is optimize our drives. This is more for performance issues in the game as we are going to optimize the drive that we have Call of Duty installed on which will help improve the performance of the game. To do this, all we need to do is open the start menu and you now need to type in optimize and then open up defragment and optimize drives. You now need to select the drive you have Call of Duty Cold War installed on. I'm going to go ahead and select my E drive and we can now go ahead and press optimize. But also if it does say 0% fragmented on your drive that you have Call of Duty installed on, then there's no need to do a optimize on the hard drive as it won't do anything. Also, if you do have a spare bit of time, then it's definitely worth optimizing the drive that you have Windows installed on. But just be careful as optimizing a solid state drive can reduce the lifespan of that drive. So I don't recommend you optimize a solid state drive. But if your solid state drive is big enough to install Call of Duty onto, then definitely move that game onto your solid state drive, as that really will boost the loading times of the game. I'm going to go ahead now and press optimize, and this is what you will end up with running. Once it's finished, it will then say complete, then boot up Call of Duty and see if it has fixed the issue. If optimizing your drives did not help the performance in Call of Duty Cold War, then definitely closing down any background programs like Firefox, TeamSpeak, Discord or anything like that will definitely help improve the performance of the game and also help if you're having problems with the game crashing, as these programs could be having a conflict with the game, causing it to freeze or crash. So go ahead and close down any programs that you have running in the background, even if it's Firefox or Google Chrome, anything like that. Close down everything, launch Call of Duty Cold War, and then see if it crashes or if it's running a lot smoother and doesn't crash. If that does happen and it's running good, then you definitely know one of those programs are causing you the problem. So and then you can kind of figure out which program is causing the game to crash. If you are using any overlay programs as well, I know there's a lot of programs that capture your frames per second and TeamSpeak overlays or Discord overlays, then these can also cause the game to crash. Also like Infidia Shadow Play, go ahead and disable all of that and then see if that fixed the issue as well. Also like the Infidia overlay, we want to disable that as well as it could be causing us an issue. To disable it, all you need to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and right click on the shortcut icon for GeForce Experience or open up the start menu and search for GeForce Experience. Once GeForce Experience has opened, you now need to click on the settings cog in the top right hand corner here. You then need to click on the general tab and you will now see in the game overlay. Go ahead and turn this option off. And once you have turned it off, launch Call of Duty Cold War and then see if that has also helped fix the problems you are having. And with a bit of luck, turning the in-game overlay off will fix the problem you're having. But if it hasn't fixed the issue you're having, then don't panic because the next thing we want to do is find the shortcuts for Call of Duty Cold War and Battle.net Launcher. As you can see, I do have them on my desktop. And all you need to do is simply right click on the shortcut and then click on properties. You now need to click on compatibility on the Call of Duty Cold War properties. And you now need to make sure you have run this program as an administrator selected. And this will help with a lot of connection issues, especially when trying to launch Call of Duty Cold War. And it will also help with a lot of issues in game. If you're not an administrator of the computer, then you won't be able to do this and you will have to ask the owner or person who's an admin to make you an admin. You also need to do the same for the battle.net launcher. Just right click, go to properties, go to compatibility and then select run this program as an administrator and press OK. 
If you don't have the shortcuts on your desktop, then you can simply open up the start menu, search for Call of Duty, and then click on Open File Location, and then right click on the shortcut in the File Explorer, then go Properties, and then Compatibility, and then go run this program as an administrator. And do the same for Battle.net, just open up the Start menu, and then search for Battle.net, Open File Location, right click, Properties, and then the same again, Compatibility. Go ahead and launch the game and see if that has helped fix the issue. If it hasn't, then the next thing we want to do is go into Call of Duty Cold War. I'm going to go ahead and launch my game now. Once you have opened Call of Duty Cold War, you now need to click on Settings down the bottom. And you now need to go across to Graphics. We now need to go all the way to the bottom. And you now need to click on Restart Shaders. You then need to press restart. This is then going to delete our shader cache, which will help a lot of graphics problems. If you are having a lot of textures glitching now or a lot of stuttering issues or anything like that, then restarting the shaders will hopefully fix those problems. Also, if you have installed any new drivers or changed any graphic settings, then it's always a good idea to restart the shaders every time as well because it basically gives the shaders a nice good reinstall and clears the old cache. Go ahead and boot up a game and see if this has helped fix the problem that you're having. If it hasn't fixed the issue you're having, then the next thing we want to do is change all our graphics settings to low. As you can see, I have a few settings here that are set high, ultra and stuff. Change it to the lowest setting possible as you can see there, I've disabled that option. If I change this one, I can disable it. I can disable that option there as well. Basically go through all the options and set them to the lowest possible setting. Once you have done this, go ahead and press apply and then restart the shaders again by going down the bottom and then clicking restart shaders. Once you have done that, Go ahead and join a game online or zombies or just the campaign, whatever you are having the issue in and see if that has fixed the problem. And with a bit of luck, that would have hopefully resolved the problem, especially if it is graphical or texture related. If that didn't help, then the next thing we want to do is simply go back to our desktop, come out of the game completely. I'm going to do that now. The next thing we want to do is simply unplug any devices that are plugged in via USB apart from our mouse and keyboards. If you do need to keep something else plugged in, then that's fine, but it could be what is causing you the issue in game and see if it did help fix the issue that you are having. If it didn't, then the next thing we want to do is check that our security or firewall isn't causing us issues. If you are using the standard Windows 10 firewall, then open up the start menu and type in the firewall. You now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall. And you now need to click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall and simply find Call of Duty Cold War. And as you can see, I have Call of Duty Cold War here. If I actually go up one, you can see it's ticked on private, which is absolutely fine. I have allowed it access to the internet. But if your game is missing, then go ahead and press change settings and then press allow another app. You now need to press browse and find your game. I'm just going to simply paste in the location of my game. Once you have found the game, you then need to select Black Ops Cold War and go open and then press add. And this will allow it internet access, which will fix any connection issues you may be having. If that didn't help fix the issue, then the next thing you want to do is also temporary disable your antivirus. But just remember, when it is disabled, you will be vulnerable to any security threats. So only do this for a short period of time. Go ahead and join a game and see if it did fix the issues you're having. And also, if you do have antivirus, make sure it's not currently doing a scan.
Because if it is doing a virus scan in the background, then that will cause you a lot of laggy issues in game and also just basically make you have frame drop and cause a lot of problems. So make sure you are not doing a virus scan in the background because they do have a habit of doing them automatically once a week or twice a week. If you're having a lot of connection issues or packet loss problems or maybe even stuttering issues then the next thing we want to do is open PowerShell as an admin. To do this all we need to do is right click on the start menu and then click on Windows PowerShell admin. You now need to type in bcd edit space forward slash set space disable dynamic tick and then space and yes. Once you have typed that in, you now need to press enter. As you can see, the operation was successful. We now need to do the same again, but this time you need to type in BCD and then edit. And we need to go space forward slash set space use platform. And then you need to type clock space true and press enter. And there we go, that one's successful as well. Once you have done that, you now need to restart your computer and then go ahead and boot up Call of Duty and see if that helped fix the issue that you're having. And if you would like to change the values back, then simply just do what I've done and change it to no and false for the disabled dynamic and platform. And unfortunately, that does now bring us to the final method of this ultimate guide. And that is to open up Battle.net and then click on your game Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War on the left hand side here and you now need to click on options and we now need to click on scan and repair. You then need to press begin scan and what this is going to do is basically scan the game and make sure none of the files have become corrupted or none of them have become missing. Once it has finished scanning you can then go ahead and launch the game and see if it is now working. If it isn't working, then unfortunately you may need to uninstall the game and install it again. I hope you did enjoy this video and it did help you. If it did help you or you did figure out a way to fix Call of Duty Cold War that I did not mention in this video, then please comment below and help everyone else out. But anyway, that is it for this tutorial. Hit that like button if you did enjoy the video and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.